Jonathan brought me into the woods for our very first date. So um, it, I think that this place just means a lot to him. Uh, and now to me as well, it's where we come every weekend. Um, we do a walk in the woods. You never know what you're gonna see. Last weekend, we found little mushrooms up in the tree that the uh, squirrels have stashed away for like future eating. And we'll find apples, you know, stashed up in the trees and stuff. We've seen porcupines in their dens. Um, we've seen huge trees that are completely riddled with um, holes from the woodpeckers. So it, yeah, I mean, it really is kind of a fun adventure. And so that's uh, why we get to come out and cut down a Christmas tree out here every year. This is one of Jonathan's. How long have you been doing this? Uh, as long as I've been here. So what's that? 30 years. 30 years of cutting down what we now call the Charlie Brown tree. Um, so we have to cut down, I mean, you normally find one that has a top on it. Yeah, there's a couple patches of uh, balsam fir uh, that used to be a lot of small ones and now they're all much too big. So we end up taking the top off them, but yeah, it's there's, great. there's a ton of them. So. so it's really sweet. We call it our Charlie Brown tree <laughs> and um, we keep them on the sun porch where it's kind of cold. And so they live, they don't drop a needle until like April <laughs> when we finally take it back out. So it's nice. It's like having an indoor pine tree all year round almost. Yeah. Maybe this one looks pretty good. What do you think? Uh, that's a possibility. You said it looks a little lopsided from your spot here? Uh, well, it looks pretty good from this angle over here. Okay. Let's check it out from the other side. Okay. That sounds good. Yeah, that, I mean, that one looks good to me, too. You like that one better? Uh, I think I do, but it's always deceptive when you're looking at the top. They always look better. That one looks taller and thinner. I think mine looks fatter. Okay. Well, so it depends on what we're going for. Curds or whey? Uh, either one. Do you want to... Check this one from this side, from this direction, and if you still like it, we'll cut that one. Okay. Uh, so we've decided on this one. Uh, what's interesting is uh, right next to it, you can see where the, uh, the deer have been very aggressive with their antlers, scraped the bark right off. Why would they do that? Uh, they do that, I think, because they're, uh, it, it scrapes the... Um, the down. It's called off their off their antlers. The yeah. down, right? Uh, it's not down. It's I forget what it's called. It's like the little furry, fuzzy coating that's <clears throat> on their antlers. Yeah. And they want it off, and so they use tree trunks to do that. Well, luckily, yeah. they didn't use our tree trunk. Oh uh, well. Yeah. We'll but that's a, that's a cute little tree too. For our, uh, for our tree in 2024. Oh <laughs> right. Okay. So Jonathan very nicely went with the tree that I picked. So, Oops. hi. Are you helping me? Well, it didn't go that far. Hang on. Nice. Timber. Okay.
All right, let's see it. Hey, that looks pretty good. I think we'll have to trim a bit off to get it in, but. <laughs> Gia, what do you think? Nah, she doesn't care. What does the raven think? Those are our ravens. Hello, that's either Edgar or Poe. Am I supposed to be on the very tip here? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So Christmas math is 94 inches to the ceiling minus eight and a half for the star minus uh, an inch for the stand is 84 and a half inches. Which is right there. Is that somehow different than regular math? Uh, yes. Holiday math. <laughs> Perfect. <clears throat> so you can hear the ravens. We're going to lose these ones here, too. Right. Yeah, no, that's fine. Perfect. <laughs> Not so much of a tree when you cut it all the way up. Like that. No, I think it's a beautiful tree. Handsome as the Dickens. We just need Linus's little blue blanket to wrap around the bottom now. There you go. If it starts sagging, for it back <laughs> Exactly. Up. Look, it's a one-hander. Perfect. Woohoo! Smile. Mm, there you go. It's the Charlie Brown tree. So we're taking it in? All right. So we like to put it out in what we call the sun porch because it's nice and cool out here. It's pretty cold actually. Uh, we keep it, what do you keep the temp in here at? Uh, 45, 47. And so that's where we put the flowers to winter over and the rosemary there behind Jonathan. And we'll have the little tree. Do you need help, honey? Uh, what sort? I don't know. Do you need me to do anything besides videotape? No. So it's amazing how many strands of these lights I can get onto one tree. This is the fourth one already. Because I try to come all the way out each branch. I don't know if you can tell that. Um, and then we have to go through. We've noticed that there's giant yellow tags on the uh, on the lights. But anyway, um, so yeah, so it's starting to come together. This is the Charlie Brown tree, um, as we love to call it. It is our tree we keep out here on the sun porch, as I showed you earlier. And um, I think it's our favorite, huh, honey? Mm -hmm. It's my favorite. Yeah, it's definitely our favorite. It's the one that we cut down, you know, in the woods. And um, and, and it's the one that we do sort of very, uh, I'll show you as I get as I get closer to doing it, but we do very simple, um, uh, sort of nature, earthy type decorations on it. Although they're a little bit sparkly. Um, but I use pine cones and just a basic red, um, red and gold and pine cones that's all i do on the whole tree so it feels really nice and i'll show you when i'm done and there she is it's our little charlie brown tree out here on the sun porch topped with a red sparkly so it's my back to nature shiny bling <laughs> tree so what i like are my little i've got these little pine cones that I found somewhere 
that just feels sort of really natural. Um, but then I've also got a little sparkly in red and gold only. Um, and I don't know why that appeals to me, but it does. And so there she is at night, all lit up in her gorgeousness. I love this tree. So I will sign off from me and Jonathan at the Mossy Ledge Farm to you and yours at home, trimming trees, wrapping gifts, last minute shopping, stocking stuffers, the works. We can't wait to celebrate the next week with all of you. We love you guys. We really love everyone we've connected with on Instagram. It's just been amazing. And we'll see you with the next post. Bye.